bows and crossbows. Despite having a large variety of ranged weapons, Minecraft offers only a handful of projectiles to shoot with. All that changes today, because I created a solution. Say goodbye to the arrow, say hello to the mobs. But what are the best mobs for the task? Here's my list of top 10 mobs to load your bow with. Before we get started, I'm going to explain the rules I'm using from my list. I will only be exploring the mobs available to me in the creative inventory. And of course, we will be ignoring projectiles, so no shooting tridents, or snowballs that look like my head. I will be basing my judgments on how effective they are as a weapon and how fun they are to shoot. And stick to the end to see my list of honorable mentions and witness me shoot every mob available in the creative inventory, plus the wither and the giant at once. Or you know, just skip to that part of the video and ignore- Zip it, camera guy Nas! Number 10, the cave spider. Right off the bat, you can tell this is a fun mob to shoot. I think its legs are amazing. These spiders will chase after your opponent and inflict them with poison, so it's fun and effective. Number 9. This was a tough one, because I had a lot of options for this spot. More on that in the honorable mentions. But after thinking through it, I settled on the Vindicator with the Johnny Tag. Not only do these guys deal a lot of damage, but the Johnny Tag programs them to attack almost every mob in the game, and that perk alone secures them in this spot. Number 8. The Magma Cube. I love how it bounces upon impact, and that's such a nice touch. You can easily spam this at players and cause a decent distraction, but when it comes to damage, it struggles, hence it's so high on the list. I did put this before the Vindicator because it is more fun. Number 7. The Blaze. The black smoke is a great feature. Every blaze will shoot three consecutive fireballs at your victim, allowing you to easily spam many fireballs at once. Despite how effective it is, there are still more fun mobs to launch, and it's not the easiest to aim, like with the magma cube. Number 6. The Guardian. They shoot out like a missile and then bounce everywhere. It's amazing! They also shoot laser beams at your opponent, who will struggle punching them to death while also suffering their thorns effect. While I could have chosen the Elder Guardian instead, I personally enjoy smaller projectiles over larger ones, which is also why I decided the Magma Cubes would be miniature. Number 5, the Vex. These are one of the tougher mobs. While they don't have a lot of defense, they do significant damage and can phase through walls, making them hard to hit. Heck, it's already hard to hit. They're like gnats. Number 4, the best weapons aren't always the ones that deal the most damage. Some weapons simply grant you an advantage or grant more maneuverability, like the Skeleton Horse Bow. If you're a swift clicker, you can catch a ride on the horse before it escapes your reach. With some practice, you can cover great distances. It's like the Pegasus mob we ever asked for. Not only is the Skeleton Horse my favorite horse variant, it doesn't have a lot of health, making them easy to dispose after you land. I mean, they're pretty valuable. I wouldn't let them get in the wrong hands. Number 3, the Creeper. Very effective and very fun. It's a more advanced version of the TNT arrow mechanics. You can easily take out your average archer with this one, and even do some real destruction. But if you don't want destruction, you can turn off the mob breathing game rule, and you can stay safe in your lovely home. Maybe. Number 2. Obviously, I could not call this a complete list if I didn't include a floppy, finny, fishy friend. I give you the pufferfish. Not only is it fun, not only does it bounce, not only will it block other arrows, but it inflicts poison on your target. The creeper might deal the most damage, but it's nowhere near as fun or as accurate as the pufferfish. This thing is amazing. I cannot express how badly I want to bow duel people with this bow as a prank. The only downside is that it's sometimes hard to hit your target due to the way it bounces and puffs up, but this could be easier against players. Probably. I'll have to find out. Anyone want to v1? Number 1. This was a tough one. I've been making you guys wait for this one. I needed something that would be worth your time. At first I thought the Ravager would work, because it's strong, and his legs flop, it wasn't enough. So I thought maybe the Hoglin, because it's more fun than the Ravager, that couldn't be it either. I was at a loss, my whole life was thrown into chaos and depression. I didn't know where to go, I was lost. Until, the most amazing discovery in the history of Minecraft came to light. I was watching the Hoglins, until suddenly one of them burst into their zombie counterpart, and the two beasts battled each other, to the death and I knew what I had to do. I give you the Pog Power Pile Pack Poopalooza! Okay, what the heck is this thing? Well, on the bottom, you have a hoglin. On top of the hoglin, you have a pig. On top of the pig, you have an adult piglin. On top of the adult piglin, you have a baby piglin. 
on top of the baby piglin, you have a pig totem pole, which consists of snowballs disguised as pig heads. On top of the totem pole, you have a banner with a pig pattern. You can't see it, it's probably a visual bug or something, but if the totem were to fall, the banner would fall and automatically place itself on the ground. So how fun is the Pog Power Pile Pack Poopalooza? Lo and behold, viewer. that's my top 10 list of mobs to load your bow with. As promised, here are the honorable mentions, and after that, every mob at once. Oh, Mushroom, I thought you were so fun to launch. Unfortunately, you just didn't do any damage. Despite how powerful the Evoker is, I already had the Vindicator, and if I added the Vex instead, I could make the list more unique, hence you didn't make the final cut. Oh boy, I can't wait to shoot this Phantom and see it shoot out like a paper airplane, it's gonna be so cool. Oh. I thought it would be cool to summon minions to do the arrow shooting for you, as I do with this pillager here, but I already have a blaze for that, plus it would be the second anthropomorphic character on my list, and I thought that was too much. And now, every mob available in the creative inventory, plus the wither and the giant. I just activated every mob. I'm a little scared to try this. This is actually pretty neat. I'm gonna do another one. I like this.